welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be back in the kitchen sharing another recipe with you guys. I feel like it has been way too long. Today we're gonna be cooking up some shrimp po' boys. This is such a delicious recipe. If you guys have someone to impress or if you just wanna impress yourself, I strongly recommend cooking this up. This was the very first meal that I cooked my fiance and let's just say he was hooked after that. This recipe is so easy to make and the fun thing about it is you can sub out the shrimp for chicken or any other kind of meat that you want to use. So we're going to get right in today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get started. So I wanted to share with you guys all the ingredients you're going to need to make this recipe. So first starting off, I went ahead and washed some potatoes. I like serving my shrimp po' boys with some french fries. It pairs really well with fries. So I'll share with you guys how I make those. And then over here, I just have a pound of some like deveined shrimp and tell off shrimp. I just wash that and then this is the key ingredient to making this taste really good it's the seasonings so you need this combination I strongly recommend it so Old Bay is an absolute must you have to have Old Bay and then garlic and then also some Cajun seasoning this is my favorite Cajun seasoning I see it at almost every grocery store but you can use any Cajun seasoning that you have on hand and then just some salt and pepper and then for the toppings I do use hoagie rolls I think hoagie rolls are perfect for the po' boy, but you can use any bread you want. These are just some hoagie rolls. They are delicious when you toast them in the oven. You need a little bit of some lettuce. I bought the shredded one to kind of make things easier. I put tomatoes on mine, and then I also use provolone cheese. An authentic po' boy uses provolone cheese. It is just so good with provolone. And then the fish fry that we're going to be using, I strongly recommend this brand right here, the Louisiana brand. And I get the one that's not seasoned. They have one that is seasoned, but I like to control how much salt I use and the seasonings I use. So if you're like me, I recommend you get the one that's not seasoned. So I was visiting New Orleans about 10 years ago and I had my first authentic po' boy. It was the most delicious thing I've ever had. I have since tried to order several po' boys from restaurants and it is just not good, you guys. The key to an authentic po' boy is really getting it to be well seasoned, getting that Cajun seasoning in the Old Bay, making it super flavorful. I don't like my po' boy to be bland. So this recipe is packed with so much flavor. So you can see that I added all of those seasonings. I went ahead and tossed it and then you wanna go back in and you wanna add some more Old Bay and Cajun because you want the shrimp to be well coated in the seasoning. You kinda of just add to taste, but you want the shrimp to kind of look the color as my shrimp is looking. That lets you know that you have enough seasoning. And then go ahead and cover it up with some Saran Wrap and get it in the fridge and just let it marinate for about 30 minutes. So while the shrimp is marinating in the fridge, we're gonna go ahead and start on our french fries. So I went ahead and scrubbed the potatoes and washed them. I keep the skin on the potatoes, so I'm just sharing with you guys the shape that you're looking for. So I just chop the potato in half, and then I take that half piece and chop it in about six to eight pieces, and then I chop it again until I get the perfect fry shape. It's super simple. I strongly recommend making your homemade fries. It just tastes so much better than the frozen fries. It is delicious. If you guys have never had homemade fries, I seriously recommend it. So then once you have your potatoes all chopped up, I am just putting some cold filtered water on the potatoes. I don't always do this, but it's really best if you do it because it gets the fries the most crispy because it gets all of the starch out of the potatoes and allows them not to stick together. So you get the most crisp when you let them soak. Ideally, you would like to let them soak overnight, but I just did 30 minutes and I just put a little bit of salt in the water. We're gonna cover it up, pop it in the fridge, and then we'll be ready to start on all the other ingredients for the po' boy. Thank you. 
So typically an authentic po' boy is served on a hoagie roll and usually it has like a spread of mayo on it and it will have the shrimp, lettuce, and tomato. I've even been to a restaurant in New Orleans that had some raw onion on it as well. That was delicious. But I really feel like this recipe doesn't need the onion, but if you're an onion person, you can definitely chop some up. So I'm just slicing my bread because mine didn't come pre-sliced. And then once we have everything prepped out, we're gonna be ready to move on to getting our fries and our shrimp cooked. Up. So I'm just giving my fries a good wash before we fry them. I personally like to fry up the french fries first because once I fry the shrimp, I don't reuse the oil. So I do the french fries first and then I just put the oven on the keep warm setting and when the fries come out, I will just put it in the oven so they stay nice and hot, which allows me five minutes to fry up the shrimp. Now the key ingredient to the best homemade fries is you have to use the Lowry seasoned salt. It is so delicious, but you have to put it on immediately after the fries drop. So that way the seasoning really gets into the fries, you guys. Give it a good toss, pop those in the oven so they stay nice and hot. Now we're moving on to our shrimp po' boys. I went ahead and put a second batch of french fries in there. So while those are cooking up, we're gonna go ahead and get our shrimp inside of the fish fry batter. It's super simple to do. You just need a little bit in the bowl. And then I just kind of toss the shrimp till the shrimp's well coated, put it on a plate, and then it'll be ready to fry. And I meant to tell you that the french fries only take eight minutes to fry. They go by really fast and the shrimp is even faster. The shrimp only takes five to six minutes depending on how crispy you want it. I did six minutes because I like my shrimp very crispy. So while the shrimp has six minutes to cook, we're gonna get started on the hoagie roll. So I just melted some butter in the microwave and then I am just brushing the butter on the inside of the hoagie rolls. It gets the bread so flavorful and so crispy, so I strongly recommend doing this step. And then I just chopped my provolone cheese slices in half and you will see me placing the provolone cheese. I did one slice per hoagie roll, but I just chopped them in half like I said and just put it on the bread and then you're gonna put it in the oven on broil for like two minutes. Okay guys, so the shrimp is all done. You can see how nice and crispy it looks. I went ahead and removed the french fries out of the oven. I'm about to grab the bread. Here it is, nice and crispy. Now we're about to assemble our po' boys. And this is the fun part. You can kind of get creative. Like I said, you can add some chopped onions to this or if there's any other toppings you wanna add. I just like serving mine just like this because this is how I had it in New Orleans and it was the most delicious thing ever. So then you just wanna take that fried shrimp add some of those tomatoes add the lettuce and you are all done put some of those fresh fries on the side and you have a delicious authentic po' boy Hey guys, that completes me sharing my favorite shrimp po' boy recipe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, joining the family here on my channel, and I will be seeing you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye!